Hello, this is Han Yu from Alibaba Cloud. Today I'll be introducing Lumnix, a dynamic scheduling system for LLM inference serving. Lumnix is the first system that supports continuous rescheduling of requests across multiple mod model instances, which vastly improves the efficiency of LLM serving. This is a joint work with interns and colleagues from Alibaba. Let me begin with how LLMs are being served today from a cluster perspective. An LLM service is typically deployed as multiple instances of the model running in an inference engine with a request dispatcher routing the incoming requests to the instances. For the inference engine layer, we have seen a lot of systems tailored for LLMs that provide superior inference performance inside a single instance. On the other hand, for the dispatcher, which should handle cross-instance optimizations, people are still using systems or scheduling policies designed for traditional DNS, not LLMs. Well, the problem is, LLMs are different and require new design philosophy for the scheduling layer. The first unique characteristic of LLMs is that the workloads are heterogeneous. LLMs are universal in the sense that the same model can work for different tasks. That means LLMs have diverse applications and heterogeneous requests. First, requests have different input and output lengths. Consider we can use an LLM to summarize an article, or to write a new article, or to polish an article. These requests will have drastically different sequence lengths. The requests also have different latency SLOs. For example, interactive applications like chatbots would expect lower latencies than offline analysis tasks like summarizing an article. Another example is products like ChatGPT+, which promises faster responses, namely lower latencies. Another characteristic of LLMs is that their execution is unpredictable. During the autoregressive decoding of LLMs, the final output lengths are not known a priori. The autoregressive execution also comes with GPU memory demands of KV caches that dynamically grow with the sequences. State-of-the-art systems adopt paged attention to enable dynamic memory allocation for KV caches and combines it with preemptive scheduling to handle such dynamic and unpredictable execution. The characteristics introduce a series of scheduling challenges that affect the performance and quality of aligned services. The first is performance isolation. The unpredictable sequence lengths can cause preemptions of certain requests leading to poor tail latencies and SLO violations. Even without preemptions, requests in a batch also have performance interference to each other. So obviously, we need load balancing across instances to mitigate such issues. But the point is that load balancing via the one-shot dispatching could be suboptimal because the sequence lengths are unknown in the beginning. That means we require continuous load balancing across instances. Is that enough? No. Load balancing also means memory fragmentation across instances, which means that the cluster's free memory space is spread over all the instances. Fragmentation could lead to worse queuing delays of incoming requests, which need a large space on one instance. Therefore, beyond load balancing, we also need the ability to, of defragmentation. A third challenge is to satisfy different latency SLOs of requests. Existing systems treat all requests equally, where the urgent requests could easily be interfered by normal ones. For example, they may experience excessive queuing delays or performance interference when co-locating with normal requests. So we also need request priorities to systematically differentiate request SLOs. Lumnix is a system that addresses these problems with continuous rescheduling across instances. It is combined with initial dispatching of requests and instance auto-scaling. We show that rescheduling is a powerful weapon in various scheduling scenarios. Lumnix reschedules requests from overloaded instances to other instances for continuous load balancing to reduce preemptions. 
Lamnix also reschedules requests to create large space on one instance for defragmentation to reduce queuing delays. Lamnix also reschedules requests away from high priority requests to further reduce performance interference and accelerate the execution of high priority requests. Lamnix also reschedules requests away from the instances to be terminated during auto scaling. To unleash the potential of rescheduling, Lamnix needs to accomplish a series of design goals. We need to maximize the efficiency and scalability of the rescheduling to enable fully dynamic and continuous scheduling. We also need to maximize the scheduling benefits of rescheduling for various scheduling goals. Lamnix de develops a live migration mechanism of inference requests for implementing the rescheduling. Naive implementation could lead to substantial downtimes of migrated re requests, for example, to recompute or directly copy the KV caches. Such downtimes will increase with the sequence lengths. Our key insight is that the KV caches are append only. Thus, we can copy the incremental data in multiple stages in parallel with the computation for new tokens. In this way, the migration mechanism achieves near zero downtimes of requests being migrated that are constant to sequence lengths. Continuous rescheduling across instances also implies higher scheduling pressure than in traditional schedulers, which could be a bottleneck if implemented in a centralized component. Lamnix uses a dis distributed scheduling architecture to enable continuous rescheduling with high scalability. Lamnix employs a global scheduler for cross-instance scheduling decisions while using a set of distributed schedulers named Lamnets co-located with the model instances to handle intra-instance scheduling. This two-layer architecture prevents the centralized scheduling from being a bottleneck improving the scalability of the system. Finally, let me briefly introduce our scheduling policy. To unify different scheduling objectives, we propose an abstraction called the virtual usage. The principle is, we use a simple load balancing policy based on virtual usages and define different rules for setting the virtual usages in different scenarios. In normal cases, the virtual usages are just the real GPU memory usages of requests so that we can do routine load balancing. Then the question is, how can the other objectives be expressed by load balancing? For example, when we have a queuing request, we consider its virtual usage as its memory requirement, although it has not used any memory. Then this instance will seem overloaded then we can just use the load balancing policy to migrate some running requests to other instances, which in effect is defragmentation to reduce queuing delays. This approach also works for the prioritization and auto-scaling cases. You can refer to our paper for the details of the policies. We evaluate Lamnix on a cluster with 16 A10 GPUs using the popular Lama models. We use two real datasets of chat GPT-4 conversations for the sequence lengths and also generated power law distributions to emulate more diversified applications. We first evaluate the efficiency of the migration mechanism. We observe that migration introduces near zero downtimes to, to the requests being migrated and also near zero overhead to other running requests. In comparison, Simple approaches like recomputing or blocking copying of the KV cache exhibit downtimes increasing with the sequence lengths, reaching up to 3.5 seconds. We also evaluate the end-to-end -end serving performance using the multiple traces. Here I'm showing the results of the real chat GPT-4 datasets. We evaluated two baselines, round robin dispatching and infas a dispatching policy that implements explicit load balancing of GPU memory. We first observe that round robin all, always performs much worse. For example, it shows up to 35 times worse P99 first token latencies compared to Lamnix. This shows the importance of load balancing in LLM serving. Well, compared to Infast, which exactly implements load balancing for dispatching, 
Lomnix also shows extra gains from migration. Lomnix achieves up to 2.2 times and 5.5 times gains for mean and P99 first token latencies via deep fragmentation to reduce queuing delays. Lomnix also shows up to 1.3 times shorter P99 per token generation latencies by reducing preemptions with migration. To conclude, we believe that dynamic workloads need dynamic scheduling, and LLMs are no exception. We built Lumnix exactly following this principle. The design of Lumnix draws lessons from conventional system wisdom, including definitions of classic scheduling goals in the new context of LLM serving, implementation of the rescheduling with live migration mechanism, and fully continuous dynamic rescheduling exploiting the migration. Together, these techniques deliver better latencies and efficiency of LLM serving. Okay, that's all. Thank you.